The universe has always been a canvas of mystery, painted with stars and secrets we thought we'd begun to decipher. But the James Webb Space Telescope, with its golden mirror piercing the cosmic dark, has revealed a reality that defies our textbooks unraveling truths so strange they make us question the very fabric of existence. From galaxies that shouldn't exist to signals whispering possibilities of life, from warped space-time to echoes of cosmic cycles. These discoveries don't just expand our knowledge, they shatter it, inviting us into a cosmos wilder than our boldest dreams. Let's journey through this uncharted realm where every glimpse challenges what we believe and redefines what's possible. Imagine a galaxy, faint and impossibly distant, glowing in JWST's infrared gaze. It's not just old, it's ancient, born when the universe was barely 300 million years old. Our models say galaxies need billions of years to form their intricate spirals and dense cores. Yet here they are, fully shaped, brimming with stars. These cosmic rebels, dubbed impossible galaxies, are too massive, too structured, too bright for their time. Scientists are scrambling to explain them. One theory suggests these aren't ordinary galaxies but relics of a primordial era. Powered by exotic processes we don't yet understand, could they be fueled by hypothetical particles called exions, lighter than electrons, weaving the first cosmic structures? If so, these galaxies aren't just anomalies, they're clues to a hidden force that shaped the universe before stars even knew how to shine. This discovery forces us to rethink the dawn of creation, suggesting the universe was never a slow builder but a rapid architect crafting complexity in its infancy. Now, let's drift closer, to a planet orbiting a dim star 70 light years away, TOI-145 to be. A super-Earth was once thought to be a scorched wasteland, its surface baked by its star's relentless heat, but JWST's precise instruments paint a different picture. Its atmosphere, thick with water vapor and traces of ammonia, glows faintly in infrared, hinting at vast, reflective oceans beneath swirling clouds. Temperature maps show regions cool enough to harbor liquid water, a cradle for life as we know it. Even more startling, JWST detected a molecule called ethyl formate, a compound found in interstellar clouds and, curiously, in raspberries on Earth. Some, it's not a sign of alien fruit, but it's a building block of organic chemistry, suggesting this planet's atmosphere is a cauldron of complexity. Could microbes float in those alien seas, metabolizing in ways we can't yet imagine? This isn't confirmation of life, but it's a spark that ignites our curiosity whispering that we might not be alone, zoom out, far beyond our galaxy, to the edges of the observable universe. JWST's deep-heeled images reveal clusters of galaxies, each a city of stars, but something's off. Their light is stretched in ways that don't match our predictions. Gravitational lensing where massive objects bend light like a cosmic lens is more pronounced than expected. These distortions suggest hidden masses, invisible to our instruments, warping space-time in subtle but measurable ways. Some scientists propose these are traces of cosmic strings, theoretical threads of pure energy left over from the Big Bang's violent birth. Thinner than an atom but stretching across light years, these strings could be vibrating, rippling space-time itself. If JWST has glimpsed their shadows, we're not just seeing the universe's present we're touching its earliest moments, when reality was still cooling from chaos, but the cosmos doesn't stop surprising us. In a quiet corner of the sky, JWST spotted a star that shouldn't be. It's not a typical sun blazing with fusion, but a faint, massive object pulsing with an eerie rhythm. Astronomers call it a ghost star, a theoretical beast powered not by hydrogen but by the decay of hypothetical particles called sterile neutrinos. These ghost stars, if real, could explain why some ancient galaxies glow without enough visible stars to account for their light. Their existence would append our understanding of stellar evolution, suggesting the universe has hidden engines we've never considered. Imagine stars that don't burn but hum, their energy drawn from the invisible scaffolding of the cosmos. This finding nudges us toward a truth, both thrilling and unsettling. The universe's rules might be more flexible than we ever thought. Now let's peer into the voids, the empty spaces between galaxies where nothing should happen. Yet JW finds light bending there, too, in ways that defy our models of dark matter. These regions, devoid of stars or gas, shouldn't have enough mass to warp light, but they do. Physicists whisper of mirror worlds, pockets of space-time where dark matter behaves differently as if governed by alternate laws. These anomalies could be windows into a shadow universe coexisting with ours but invisible except for its gravitational fingerprints. If true, we're not just exploring one cosmos but glimpsing a tapestry of realities, interwoven yet distinct, each with its own physics. The idea stretches our minds to breaking, suggesting our universe is just one thread in a cosmic weave dot. Then there's the puzzle of time itself. JWST's observations of distant quasars' brilliant beacons powered by supermassive black holes show something peculiar. Their light, traveling for 12 billion years, carries patterns that don't align with the universe's expected expansion. The Hubble constant, our measure of how fast the cosmos grows, seems to wobble when we look this far back. 
Some theorists propose a radical fix. The universe might not expand forever but collapse and rebirth in cycles. Imagine a cosmos that breathes, expanding and contracting over eons, each cycle erasing the last but leaving faint echoes. JWST's data hints at these echoes, in the form of subtle gravitational waves rippling through ancient light. If this cyclical model holds, our universe might be one of countless iterations, a story rewritten endlessly, with us as fleeting characters in its latest chapter, even stranger. JWST's gaze might be more than a passive glance. Quantum mechanics tells us observation can shape reality, and on cosmic scales, this idea takes a haunting turn. When JWST captures photons from a galaxy 13 billion light years away, it's not just collecting light, it's entangling our instruments with events from the universe's youth. Some theorists speculate this act of observation could ripple backward, subtly altering the quantum state of those distant moments. It's as if our telescopes are stitching us into the cosmos's past, making us not just witnesses but participants. If true, every image JWST takes is a tiny rewrite of reality, a brushstroke on the universe's canvas. The thought is dizzying, by studying the stars, we might be changing them. These discoveries and possible galaxies, ocean worlds, cosmic strings, ghost stars, mirror worlds, cyclic time, and quantum entanglements, don't just add to our knowledge, they tear down the walls of what we thought was possible. The universe isn't a tidy machine, ticking along predictable gears. It's a labyrinth full of twists that mock our equations and dare us to keep up. Each finding is a crack in the mirror of modern science, reflecting a cosmos that's not just vast but alive, chaotic and brimming with secrets. The standard model of physics, once a sturdy foundation now feels like a sketch, incomplete and fragile. The age of the universe, the speed of its expansion, even the nature of time all are in question. What does this mean for us? Tiny specks on a pale blue dot. It means we're part of something far grander, far stranger than we ever imagined. The universe isn't a backdrop, it's a dynamic, evolving puzzle that doesn't care about our assumptions. JWST's revelations remind us we're not at the center, not even close. We're explorers in a realm where the rules keep changing, where every answer spawns a dozen questions. The ingredients for life might be scattered across countless worlds, waiting for their chance to spark. The cosmos might be threaded with unseen strings, humming with energies we can't touch. Time itself might loop carrying whispers of universes long gone as we peer deeper with JWST. We're not just mapping the stars, we're rewriting our place in them. The universe is no longer a distant spectacle but a living enigma, challenging us to rethink everything, matter, life, reality itself, and the most profound question lingers, glowing in the dark like a distant galaxy. If the cosmos is this wild, this untamed, what else lies just beyond our reach, waiting to append everything we know?